Well, the new Trump Jr. video just dropped, and I've got to say, it's an absolute banger. Now, he's going to talk about the Supreme Court leaker, and he's not going to offer us any unique insight. He's just going to parrot what he's been hearing other right-wingers say about this particular subject. He's going to feign outrage. We know that he doesn't care about the Supreme Court leaker, but I honestly don't really care about what he's saying. In this unique circumstance, I care about how he says it because it's very evident that my man here is going through an identity crisis. He's trying to emulate his dad's style. I mean, pay close attention to his uh, his face, his mannerisms, his cadence. He's very clearly trying to do a bad impersonation of Donald Trump, his father. And to make matters worse, it's very evident that he is uh, very hyped up on caffeine, if you know what I mean. Like, he's been having a lot of Coca-Cola, and he's very hyper right now, and he's trying to make a political point, but it's evident that, like, his heart is about to explode out of his chest so <laughs> take a look and then we'll break it down when uh when it's over guys you saw the leak from the supreme court an unprecedented thing this kind of stuff doesn't happen i don't know that i'm ever aware of a leak this is not like congress where everything leaks and trust me i've done enough testimony things are leaking during uh closed door hearings i get it the Supreme Court doesn't have leaks. So if there's not a thorough criminal investigation into who leaked privileged documents about a draft decision from the United States Supreme Court, where a small, small, tiny handful of people have access to it, then we live in a clown show state. We live in a clown show state, folks. For perspective, the FBI sent, I believe it was 15 people to investigate a garage pull. Remember that, the NASCAR Bubba Wallace thing? And thought it was a noose. Well, it's a garage pull. Like, basically on every garage of every NASCAR track that anyone's ever been at. Didn't matter. 15 people. And if they don't send people to investigate this, then again, we live in a clown show state. I mean, look, man, you've got you've to lay off the caffeine. You've been having a little bit too much caffeine. If you listen closely, you can hear his heartbeat through the uh, microphone on his shitty camera. I'm kidding, but uh, I mean, we see through you. Like, you're, <laughs> you're very clearly hyped up on caffeine, Trump Jr. So we see through you, right? We know exactly what's going on and he thinks that we're stupid kyle kolinsky called him out before on twitter at the uh, rnc convention i think like he was very hyped up on caffeine then as well his eyes were watering and kyle kolinsky called him out for it and he responded to kyle just playing dumb oh, of course not i would never do that no actually you're you're very clearly addicted to coca-cola you love coca-cola you don't drink pepsi you don't drink mountain dew it's coca-cola specifically because of the amount of caffeine that it has in it to be clear i don't know how much caffeine coke has compared to other drinks but you, you get what i'm saying right you're picking up what i'm putting down right he has a coca-cola problem and, and going on camera trying to be like a social media influencer or a youtuber or i guess a rumbler since he's on Rum, uh, rumble it's not gonna work you don't have charisma and on top of that it's evident that you're a very miserable human being and it's it's embarrassing because you know that he has this inferiority complex he's lived in his father's shadow throughout his whole life and he's never been loved the way that his father has been loved and his father has probably never loved him the way that fathers normally love their sons so what he's trying to do is follow behind his dad get in his shadow and try to pick up some of that some of that residual adoration that maga chuds are you know lobbing at trump but it'll never compare to the love that trump gets from the base so you know he's trying to grapple with that and trying to chart his own path by being a rumbler or a social media influencer but it's just it's not gonna work trump not gonna work at all now i want to play a video from five years ago this is an interview with trump jr and i'm choosing this clip specifically because it talks about leakers he talks about leakers uh pay attention to how different he was then i mean it's still trumpian to an extent right but i mean the difference is night and day let's watch robbie mook the campaign manager for secretary of state hillary clinton i asked him about the dnc leak and he suggested uh, that experts are saying that russians were behind both the the leak the the, the hacking uh, of the DNC emails and their release. He seemed to be suggesting uh, that this is part of a plot to help Donald Trump and hurt Hillary Clinton. Your response. 
Well, it just goes to show you their exact moral compass. I mean, they'll say anything to be able to win this. I mean, this is time and time again, lie after lie. You notice he won't say, well, I say this. We hear experts, you know, his house cat at home once said that this is what's happening with the Russians. It's disgusting. It's so phony. I watched him bumble through the interview. I was able to hear it on audio a little bit. I mean, I can't think of bigger lies, but that exactly goes to show you what the DNC and what the Clinton camp will do. They will lie and do anything to win. You hear it with the DNC where they're leaking emails about Bernie Sanders and his Jewish heritage to be able to try to destroy him in the South. It's a rigged system. It's disgusting. And the people should be fed up because when I heard it, I certainly was. Time is a motherfucker, isn't it, folks? Or should I say, time is a motherfucker, bigly. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I could do a better Trump impersonation than him. Um, yeah, look at the change. It's incredibly different. I mean, sure, there are some elements of the old Trump Jr. there and the new Trump Jr., but it's evident he's in horrible, horrible shape. And I've got to point out that uh, back then, he was pro-leak, but now he's anti-leak. And he's not alone. Like, he's not the only hypocrite. Tulsi Gabbard is on Fox News screeching about the Supreme Court leaker after being, to her credit, one of the few politicians to actually stand up for whistleblowers like Julian Assange and Edward Snowden. But I mean, the talking points have been handed down, so they all have to say the same thing. They all have to regurgitate the same fucking talking points. And um, I guess that's how they get it to stick. It must be, right? But either way, Trump Jr., I mean, it's just, I almost, like, I don't feel bad for him. I don't want to say that because he's a piece of shit and he deserves to be miserable and pathetic, right? He knows that all of that money that he has is never going to account for how shitty and miserable he is as a person. And he deserves this because of how bad of a person he is. But still, you kind of feel bad because something's not right there, right? A, a lot is not right there and and he's trying to be this insightful political commentator but there's nothing about him that differentiates him from the other right-wing hacks what about you is different because you came out of donald trump's nuts that doesn't make you different if you're just saying the same exact things like if he honestly were trying to use his experience being the son of a former president and kind of like say, look, I have this inside insight. My dad would negotiate with senators X and Y, and this is the way it kind of, you know, uh, went out. Uh, uh, or not went out, but like went down, I guess you could say. Like if he did something like that, it would make a lot more sense, and, and there would clearly be a need for that. But there's not. He's just like watching Fox News and then repeating it to his audience on Rumble. So, you know, look, uh, either way, there's no substance to be had here. I just honestly wanted to shit on someone because it makes me feel better. Uh, we've had a pretty bad week. Republicans got this huge victory and they're molding. They're not even celebrating this victory that they had. So, you know what? If making uh, other people or making fun of people like Donald Trump or shitty people makes you feel better in spite of all of this horrible things that's been happening, in spite of this terrible political climate, then you know what? Fuck it. We need to do it. We owe that to ourselves as part of self-care because um, these are ghouls who are ruining the country. So at least we should be allowed to um, laugh at them, right? Mike is a total shit lip. Once he started shilling for the DNC, I stopped watching. So I definitely won't be hitting the subscribe button or turning on notifications by clicking the bell. No way. It's very sad, I know.